What's up guys, Obey Logs here, and yes, today we are on World at War. You guys know this is my favorite Call of Duty ever, and we're just gonna play, you know, we're just gonna play and see how playable it is in 2020. We're gonna see what the lobbies are like, you know, no bullshit, no mods, no nothing. But we're just gonna play it legit and see what it's like. Right off the bat, if you don't know, World of War is my favorite Call of Duty. And uh, I really enjoy playing this game, but at the, sometimes it's just impossible to play. Right now it says 343 players are online and that number, never go by that number, it is always wrong. I think that number counts uh, zombies players as well, like multiplayer zombies players as, as well as like multiplayer players. I don't know where that number is. Never go by that number, it is always wrong. And if you click on multiplayer, it even gives a counter at the bottom, 25 people playing. That number is actually wrong as well, so it says 25 people are online, but I've had times where it says there's two people online, and then I search for Team Deathmatch and I get a full game. So don't go by that counter either. But yeah, if you're trying to play War at War in 2020, um, you're pretty much just stuck to Team Deathmatch. There's usually no other lobbies. Sometimes there's war lobbies, but it's always like snipers trying to get people to start. So maybe someone will tweet out, you know, we're join up, we're playing war. But it's usually just Team Deathmatch. That's pretty much what you're stuck to. So we'll search for a game and see if we actually get into one. Who knows? Sometimes it guts us, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, so right now it's not even letting me join a game. Oh, and we got one on Nightfire. Great, so this one's gonna end and then we're gonna have to find another one. There we go. Let's see what we can do. Just started and we're on. What the fuck is this, bro? This is a problem that we always have when you're playing War at War. There's always some person from Guatemala with the host connection. I don't know what it is. But this, is this is a constant problem I have. Connection like this is always fun to play on because you just got that like laggy connection. Sometimes it's fun, sometimes it gets really annoying. But, like right now, I mean, look at this. You do have to lead your shots a lot. <laughs> look how delayed the kills are though. Bro, people still play like this. Look at this. People still play like bouncing Bettys and fucking Chris Kyle sniping. Like, people still play like this to this day, which is. I guess fun in a sense because uh, usually they're pretty bad but at the same time. Like, what is he doing? Where does he plan on going? This might be a clip. Dude, he- Oh my god. So, if you ever play War to War, you'll know that kill streaks are the most annoying thing in the game. Dogs and artillery just- literally make people rage quit, that's how bad they are. Dogs are really annoying because they just, like, it's just spammed all the time. People just fucking spam dogs and you just run out and it's just so annoying. You mod because you weak. Dude, that guy's in the game all the time. He, like, lives on War at War. There are people who still play War at War on PlayStation and Xbox to this day that have been on the game since the release date. Like, they've never gotten off the game before. It's insane. Always call in artillery out of the map. I don't care who you are, never call in artillery in the map. It shakes the screen for literally everyone in the game. It doesn't benefit anyone. I was not aiming at that guy, but somehow I killed him. I, I do not have mods, trust me. Okay, I'm on a two bar and I'm going 24 and four. This is this is World at War in 2020. So obviously War at War is not the best Call of Duty. It's so wonky and weird, but I love it because I love World War II time period. I love uh, the guns, I love everything about it. If you know me, I have a World War II uh, gun collection. I made a video on it and I love the weapons. I love the era, I love everything about it. So that's why uh, World of War is my favorite Call of Duty, really. Oh my, oh my God. Bro. Guatemalan connection, dude. How many times does a game have to end due to poor connection before they give it to like someone who actually has good connection? So why am I not playing on Xbox? Well, my Xbox 360 red ringed the last time I played and it's really sucked. But uh, I do have an Xbox One, it's just in my room and it's kind of just stationary so I can watch Netflix. I don't really feel like moving it. But I'll tell you what, because I want to give War to War a fair shake and not just show that it's trash right now, I will make an Xbox video if this video gets 123 uh, likes. One, two, three likes and I'll play War to War on Xbox for a video. So every time I see people complain that more snipers are on War to War, like, 
how is that a negative? Like, it's just more people playing it. The same people who complain all the time about snipers being on World of War who shouldn't be on are the same people that say join up and post a picture of them trying to get a war lobby started. World of War players always have that mindset that they just don't want snipers to be in their games, of which I understand, but at the same time, they're the only ones that are going to play a war, so you have to, you know, have to give in to them. For me, I say the more the merrier, you know? The more people on World of War, the more lobbies, the more, you know, you know, clips. I think this is a great example. Exalt, look, when have you ever seen him on World of War? I mean, he plays Black Ops 2, for God's sake. Are we really doing this today? Come on. What? <laughs> So if you cannot snake me, bro. Come on, man. Go back to Black Ops 2, man. Oh my god, dude. There's a triple. There's a triple right there, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Oh my god. There's How are there still modders on this game? Like, who the hell still uses infections, dude? 16 and 1? They have god mode? Oh, yeah. He does. No wonder. I still dropped 20 kills, but that guy had God with the whole fucking time. So your yeah. boy, you got a corny flow, so you can suck my fucking dick through a glory hole. No! Did we just witness that? He said you got a corny flow, you can suck my dick under through under a glory, glory hole, hole bro. Dude, that's yeah. fucking crazy, bro. Or other shit done. Okay. Duh, I mean like not now like with Fortnite and all that. Did we what like the out? fuck? Obey Zorby joined and it automatically ended the game. Hmm. What the fuck, Zorby? <laughs> Zorby responded, LOL, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is right, buddy? Just respond, that's what I'm saying. Oh, go. Go, one more. I missed oh. again! You fucking suck! Oh my god, how did I miss? He literally strafed to the left. To Beyonce, bro. everything in the box, bro. Obeying the clan tag, man. I don't know. It's it's not lucky. Well, guys, that's gonna be the video for today. I apologize. I don't have any big bangers or anything. I didn't hit anything uh, crazy, so I apologize for that. But as you can see, War of War is still playable. You really just have to find the right time of day for you because everyone's different. I can't play at night. I can only play during the morning because that's when lobbies are full. Um, but yeah, I played all morning. Got some highlights, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see another video like this, just classic cut column on War of War, or maybe even other games, just leave a like. If I get one, two, three likes, I will make a War at War video on Xbox. And yeah, tell me guys if you enjoy this, and I'm Logs, and I'm out. Deuces.